you are set for a powerful encounter that will change your life forever, as you are about to listen to this powerful sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman. A shift is about to take place in your life that will lead to a supernatural transformation. Because the earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, and the walls and all they that dwell therein. So you are going to pray one prayer. You are going to give a prophetic red card, if I will use that expression, to everything that is antichrist, buried whether in foundations, inheritance. I'd like you to make a declaration in the name of Jesus, I'm cutting away from ordinances and handwritings, speaking against the purposes of Christ in and through my life. Go ahead and pray. Shake a pacatos cate palacata, Brante paricato shaligata paracatos catia, Embrentes cote shalaka praski padacato. Pray. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. Hallelujah. I'm ready to pray now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please let me beseech you whether you are an usher or not. If someone is under the anointing close to you, please help them. Let's be very, very fast so that we trust God to do much tonight. Hallelujah. I really want to take out time and minister this deliverance by the power of the Holy Spirit. And you will be shocked and surprised to see what happens to you. Let me start tonight with families where nobody rises. This is what I want to start with tonight. In truth, there are families where no matter how diligent you are, no matter how hardworking you are, it looks like there is a demonic embargo. You see people travel abroad and return back after 10 years in shame. They study to PhD. Some of them even become professors, yet they cannot feed their families. Why? Because there are horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah and against Jerusalem. Now I want to pray by the power that resides in the Christ. I decree and declare. Please bring them out very quickly. Everyone here under the sound of my voice. In the main auditorium inside and outside. Whose life and family is under the yoke of this wicked spirit. That will not allow you rise. At the count of three. You are going to shout the name Jesus. At the shout of that name, that fire will fall from heaven and set ablaze everything that is antichrist. Are you ready now? Thank you, Father. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command every yoke, every altar, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, every family. That will not be allowed to rise. We bring judgment against those forces. In the name of Jesus, bring them out by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Be judged now. Be judged now. Be judged now. Wherefore, God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. That at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord. Bring them out, please. 
I'm still praying. Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, Four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Jerusalem, so that no one got lift up his head. He said, But I have sent four carpenters. I am still praying. Every family here that is a victim of the covenant of ancestry. Covenants of ancestry. Your fathers worship idols. Your fathers worship all kinds of things. And now the children are victims of this by the blood of the eternal covenant. You're still going to shout Jesus. Let there be liberty right now. At the count of three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Be free now. Be free now. From your foundations, ordinances, wicked orchestrations of darkness. Let them go now. Let them go now. The Bible declares, He who the Son sets free is free indeed. Bring them out. Most of the challenges you see that believers go through, aside from the issues that relate to ignorance and lack of accurate spiritual understanding, most of the challenges are tied and connected to orchestrations of demons. I'm still praying. The Lord is opening my eyes again And like he always shows me I'm seeing Kogi state Kogi state I'm seeing fire Falling on people right now Kogi state Every orchestration planted That is tying men down In the name of Jesus Christ Help them please I bring you liberty right now I bring you liberty right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, I bring you liberty right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray a prayer of release. God is opening my eyes and I'm seeing the hands of people tied. When your hands are tied spiritually, no matter what you do physically, believe me, it will not work. You will do the best that you know to do. But I'm about to pray. Those chains will be broken right now. Father, every hand that is tied in the realm of the spirit, affecting their productivity, their capacity to make structural progress at, in the name of Jesus Christ. Kapato katebata. My God, I'm seeing fire falling at the count of three. One, two, three. Let that fire fall now. Fall now in the name of Jesus Christ. Is there someone with the name Monica? Monica I'm hearing the name Monica Monica Don't just stand up and go There is a reason why I ask that they bring them out I'm about to pray for them Monica, I'm hearing the name Monica I don't know if that is your name These are the manifestation of the gifts of the spirit Monica I'm also hearing the name Adams Who is Adams? Adams Oppression must come to an end right now. Adams. I'm hearing a name Adams. Who is Monica? Please.
please verify that that is their name you are Monica I want to pray for you the power of God is coming on a woman right now you get pregnant but it never crosses three months the moment is past three months you will have a dream in the night and the moment you have that dream you will lose that pregnancy right now the power of God is coming upon that woman right now I decree and declare wherever she is wherever she is I break that hold now I break that hold Monica let me pray for you please I want you to hold two people who will now begin to run by the anointing and come out because I'm looking and I'm seeing a serpent this I'm seeing like a snake this is what I'm seeing I'm not saying they are snakes but this is just what God is showing me in the name of Jesus hold them and bring them out let me pray for you my goodness Monica two of you there is there is fire that is falling on you now I just saw a strong anointing I'm praying for all of you but this tie of witchcraft over your life it must go right now I stretch my hands father according to your word in the name of Jesus help them please I command that oppression go now out of them now in the name of Jesus Christ out of them now release their lives and release their destinies hallelujah the Lord is showing me a gentleman you work with civil defense civil defense this is what I'm saying you are a gentleman you work with civil defense I'm not giving your name but the Lord is saying you work with civil defense if there is such a person please let me pray for you very quickly because we are still going to minister deliverance Adams let me pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands towards you Adams the power of God is coming on one of you the Lord is saying you are ending a season and beginning a new one I decree and declare right now may that anointing come upon you I shift you to help them in the name of Jesus Christ please take care in the name that is above all names I decree and declare right now let there be liberty for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ where do you work my friend civil defense what's your name Paul how long have you been there 10 years 10 years yeah, I joined 2000 and, 2012 have you gone abroad yes do you know why I'm saying that I'm not a prophet of doom but I'm seeing you inside a plane and I'm seeing God taking you out of this country this is what I'm seeing this is this is like I don't know if it's that you and your family are moving but God is just telling you to prepare because your days they are numbered God is shifting you to a new dimension in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit let it be for you even as he has spoken in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ let it be for you as he has spoken for all those who are out here under the anointing I command the spirits and the devils oppressing them and their families I speak as one sent and I come by the rod of a higher priesthood I declare leave their destinies and their families now go 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 out of their lives in the name of Jesus Christ out of their destinies in the name of Jesus Christ release them and everything you have taken from their lives and their destinies let there be a sevenfold restoration now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now I want to pray there are families where 
people rise and they get to a particular point and just when they are about to climax in their pursuit and their career something must happen to them and bring them down in shame there are many people like that and there are many families like that diligent people they get to the zenith of their pursuit and then something brings them down i want to pray over those people right now and the power of god is going to come upon them i like for your heart to be open and i want you to receive it as a prayer thank you lord jesus every family under this kind of yoke that rises to get to a particular point and just when you are the apex the climax the zenith of your pursuit these forces bring you down in the name of jesus christ i declare right now i'm praying there are two ladies that will shout now under the anointing based on this prayer the moment that happens the power of god will begin to move to touch people this is what the lord is telling me two ladies whose families and lives are victims of this in the name of jesus the moment that happens the power of god will begin to set people free two ladies help them please bring them out we are praying right now everyone under the sound of my voice whose life and family are a victim of this manifestation of rising to a particular point and going down right now i decree and declare be, be delivered in the name of jesus be delivered in the name of jesus be delivered in the name of jesus I want to rebuke the spirit of delay now hear me there are people here you may not necessarily be victims of delay directly but your your pace of growth is too slow what can be done in one month takes you 10 years I don't mean to insult you but there are some of you you've been building forever and it looks like the grace to finish is not there I tell you the, the fire of God will fall on many people based on this prayer I'm about to pray and you will shout that name that everything that has tied your life and destiny bring in delay you know that delays that work in your life when the only thing that grows in your life is your age nothing else grows only your age you know that there is delay there therefore i pray right now my god i sense fire even on my own hands in the name of jesus at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus as you shout that name inside and outside everyone who is a victim of that oppression that demonic structure will be liberated right now i decree and declare against the spirit of delay we come against you by the power that is in the blood of jesus at the count of three shout jesus one two three shout jesus delay be broken now help them my god delay be broken now over lives over families be broken now hallelujah many years ago I used to have demon spirits come to oppress me and because of the prophetic I would see the spirits enter I would shout in Jesus name in Jesus name and nothing would happen because the real miracle is not in the chanting of the name like a charm or a genie it's in the revelation of it but the Lord is opening my eyes right now please look at me there are people you would have made maximum progress pay attention but you go back to bed 
and you are seeing yourself in secondary school. You are seeing yourself in paparaskete barakatusia. Kandeleke parusa tigeteyash. I want to pray how it came. What happened? Almost all of them had similar dreams. Maybe not exactly the same, but similar. They go to bed and someone comes to them with a syringe. Like a, a real syringe in a dream. And injects them and tells them this is HIV. Are we together? And they wake up and after a few months, they begin to have physical symptoms. They go to the hospital and they will tell you this thing is demonic. And because of their fear to not be stigmatized, they will not seek help and not say anything and keep quiet until it eats them up. I declare liberty. I declare liberty. There is a lady I'm praying for you by the Spirit because I'm seeing that there seems to be this fraternity and this spiritual union with entities that anybody who comes and is considering you whether for marriage or whatever it looks like there is this something suddenly happens the jealousy and the manifestation of this spirit will completely abort that agenda in the name of Jesus. Right now I'm praying. Bring them out. That's right. That's right. I decree and declare whatever spirit is binding itself to you in this false spiritual union we break that relationship now we break that relationship now we break that relationship now there are whole families that are victims of this not just individuals I'm still praying I don't know why God is showing me women I know that this affects both men and women but I'm seeing women I'm still praying right now every embargo that has covered your glory and your face so that the good that should come to you does not arrive right now in the Habakatoshkate Bakata Shabrendekete Baratusiata be delivered in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please look at me. I want to pray a very serious prayer for you now. And I want you to pay attention. There is a mystery in the spirit called the book of remembrance the bible says in the book of esther that once upon a time a man who sat at the gate who was an uncle to the village girl that would later become queen over 127 provinces Hadassah or Esther the bible now says one time they conspired to kill the king Ahasuerus and Mordecai was privy to that information and he supplied that information and it preserved the life of the king but the king forgot him there are many of you here if your effort and your contribution to the life of others were to be rewarded you would never be where you are but in a strange way there seems to be a spirit that trails your progress you help the rising of many but it looks like you are forgotten I'm about to pray for you because something is coming on you listen 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 can I tell you this God does not forget but men can forget believe me when I tell you that the distance between you and your next level is one destiny helper away this is the world of men God uses men to lift God uses men to help
the wine presser and the baker they were both helped by joseph and joseph made a plea and said i am in this prison but i am innocent i don't have the power to advocate my innocence please when you are reinstated use your influence to talk to the king the pharaoh for me that they should come and get me out of this place the one press have forgot him for two years one man's forgetfulness added two years of pain to another man but the bible says that night could not the king sleep and he said bring me the chronicles and when they opened it they found there they read it before him and he said who is in the chamber there Haman was there the arch enemy of the people of God he said what shall be done to a man who has done so and so I want to pray for you now when I came into this city I found out that over arguably 50 to 70 percent of the opportunities and the lifting of men in this city is purely by relationship even beyond competence relationships someone can stand by you and hold your hand and wipe your tears forever just because of relationship can i tell you this there are many competent people who cannot rise because the person to speak their praises to the kings is not there can i pray for you this is my assignment tonight many pastors have helped the rising of many and they've been forgotten they do ministry as if they are not called many business people participated in the lifting of others and were long forgotten many of you here you played major roles in the rising of people in this city and as it is no one seems to pay attention to you i want to pray grace on your life right now In the name of Jesus Christ The spirit that makes your helpers to forget you I decree and declare That spirit departs from your life now Receive it It departs from your life now Hear me This man standing before you Is I am I am By the mercy of God The recipient Of the remembrance of people Who God used me To help and to lift at one point Or the other Believe me when I tell you when your helpers remember you one day can be equivalent to 10 years for you let me pray for you there are jobs here there are visions here that are the mercy of the grace of god through helpers right now by the power of the prophetic for everyone who has been forgotten here leaving you in shame leaving you in pain i decree and declare let the book of remembrance be open for you now let the book of remembrance archiving your diligence archiving your honesty archiving your sincerity archiving your competence let it be open for your sake now There are people standing here right now whose documents are under the carpet in many offices. I will do something about it and they sweep it under the carpet and leave it there. Sir, have you considered I uh, will we'll do something and sweep it there? In the name of Jesus, wherever it was swept to, we bring it out to visibility. We bring it out to visibility in the name of Jesus Christ. We'll, we'll pray for the sick shortly But let me pray one more One more prayer It is possible For your helpers to come late Life is a function of timing 
it is possible for your helper to come but then to come late the value of help is when it comes on time let me repeat it again the value of help is that it comes on time listen to me there are many people today if help came on time their loved ones would not be dead help came when they were buried and someone will say ah i didn't know the text you sent me the mail you sent me if i had seen it i would have supported i want to pray for you it's not enough to call for help help must come on time it says satisfy me early with your mercy in the name of jesus christ everywhere help has been ordained to come for you between november and the end of this year in the help them my god help them up the balcony there in the name that is above all names between november i'm saying it by prophecy i stand under this apostolic and prophetic grace may your help not escape december 2021 believe it believe it believe it may your help let it not escape december 2021 Therefore I prophesy to the east, I prophesy to the west, I prophesy to the north and to the south, wherever your help is, I gravitate towards your destiny. I am the Lord. That he led thee I am the Lord Your healer I sent my word And it healed your disease I am the Lord One more time with faith in your heart. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. That he led thee. He led thee. I am the Lord. Your healer. I sent my word. And the healed your disease. Listen, the Bible says Jesus was speaking and he said, as my father has sent me, he said, even so send I you as my father sent me with the same mandate and the same backing, the same mandate and the same backing. My mission was to reveal the love of the Father and to connect the world to the Father so that they walk back in that dominion and they become envoys, envoys, advocates, kings and priests. Now I send you. But to do that, you will need the equipping, the backing of heaven. So how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth when Jesus came and stood up for to read Luke chapter 4 says that it was given to him the scroll of Isaiah and he found where it was written concerning him that the spirit of the Lord is upon me for he hath anointed me to preach glad tidings to the meek he hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to release to preach deliverance to them who are captive and recovery of sight and to set at liberty them that are bruised and then when he was done reading he said the bible says he closed the book and kept it and sat down and he said this scripture is fulfilled in your eyes the healing ministry is one of the cardinal ministries 
that reveal the love of Jesus. Why? Because the authorized means of remaining on the earth is that you must have a mortal body. Listen, this is the theology of healing. Healing is not merely just administering the power of God to a human body. It's an attempt by the Spirit of God to bring you to a point of health and vitality because the spirit of man or any spirit requires a certain health condition in a human body to be able to remain when the body is broken and deteriorated beyond a certain threshold the spirit will have to be separated from the body in an event we know and call death are we together now so every time you are sick it's like death knocking on your door would you give me a chance from a slight a, a sickness as headache pain whatever it is so when jesus comes to bring healing through his servants it is his commitment to preserve you in health and vitality so that you can have the body prepared for you to be able to do that which he has mandated you to do you're sick in your body now is the time for you to receive your healing I want you to lay your hand very quickly I truly believe in the healing ministry the last three months the Lord has been speaking to me again that some of the manifestations of the power of God that we saw with the generals are fathers of blessed memory who have joined the cloud of witnesses today most of them moved marvelously in the 60s and the 70s across Europe across the US and even in Africa here there were men and women most of them died living a prophetic word that a moment will come in the history of the church and in the future of the church where there will be a marvelous move of the spirit and young men and women will arise and there will be a restoration of that healing mantle can I tell you sincerely our generation has not really once if you are younger than respectfully speaking say 45 downwards or maybe 40 downwards that generation has not really witnessed the move of the spirit the healing ministry with power the way that most of our parents and our fathers would tell us sometimes you will hear the things that they would say and you would think they were exaggerations i've had the honor and the privilege of meeting a few people before they passed on who were marvelously used by god to change nations and my concern was not just impartation from them i wanted to ask them what were the prophetic words that you received and i can tell you this before jesus returns once again that water that pool will be stirred in a remarkable way believe me when i tell you this there's gonna be a great awakening there's gonna be a great revival in our land there's gonna be a great awakening and everyone who calls on Jesus I'm going to pray for the sick now but I want you to know know this for sure that the move of the spirit is coming and before we round up this service tonight I will pray I know that there may be one or two people here that God is already training you as part of that glorious that mighty army that will carry this end time mantles of healing for you you did not just come for a miracle service to receive you are still in the in, in, in god is still working on you be patient with him we are not just talking of healing in a service headache wheelchair thank god for that but men whose shadows like peter will heal the sick I believe this with all my heart I believe this with all my heart that before Jesus comes believe me when I tell you there will be such a move of the spirit ordinary people men and women you have not seen them on TV yet nobody even knows them they may not be in active ministry yet no one is celebrating them the Lord is training them pruning them building them and when he's ready he will blow them like a shofar to the nations 
And I tell you, Africa and Nigeria has a major prophetic role to play in taking back this healing anointing to the nations. I believe this. It will happen in our lifetime. We will see it. Like natural resources, we will export the power of God as a commodity to the nations. Believe me when I tell you this. Men and women will carry fire. Some of you, God will send you to Europe to go back and salvage the decadence that is going there. Some of you, God will send you back to US, Canada, send you across, even to Asia. For now, let's pray for the sick. Please lay your hand as a point of contact. I want you to believe in the power of Jesus to heal. I know he heals. I don't just believe he heals. I know that Jesus heals. Oh, nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Oh, 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 oh. Nobody like you, Lord. Now, do you know, I was so humbled when I found out that many hospitals in Abuja here and many hospitals across the nations people who are with patients connect to the miracle service like so many are doing right now you've heard of the marvelous miracles of people in the hospital very humbling to see what the power of god is doing and if you are in the hospital right now connecting with someone whatever the situation is i want you to believe lay your hands and let's pray as i pray for you i want you to shout a loud amen I will rebuke that spirit and command that spirit to give way now um, I don't know how we would do it because this is the last miracle service and I have a section for impartation so what we are going to do is um, probably we may not have people come out to share testimonies let's just let's just um, let's sacrifice that section of the meeting in as much as it's good to declare the faithfulness of God but there is a lot we still have prayer requests here and then I still want to take out five ten minutes and release something upon your life a, a marvelous manifestation of the anointing so I will just pray for you as God touches you and blesses you from next week you can do well to come and testify my apologies it's our culture to always take the testimonies and celebrate Jesus but now that we have taken time to do this we may just sacrifice that so that we can do the general prayer and then we do the impartation the impartation is a major part of tonight's meeting that's why many people traveled across nations and came here hallelujah there is somebody god is calling you into the prophetic but it looks like you touch that realm and come back you touch that realm and come back some of you even travel to come the lord is saying there is a mantle there is a grace it's a seer anointing the grace not just dreams the grace for sight right now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare before i pray for the sick that grace for sight in the name of Jesus, may your eyes be open to see. May your eyes be open to see. I open for you the vistas of the Spirit with accuracy. In the name of Jesus Christ, take that grace right now. Hear me. Some of you is, is, a, is a spiritual inheritance. Where you come from has that as a grace. I'm saying this as a... 
prophetically you come from a background even a denominational background where God has given it as a spiritual inheritance I stand in faith with that ancient mantle I declare again for those called to the prophetic may your eyes be open to see Just give me a minute and let this grace just, just really come on people. Believe me, there are people receiving this anointing. Some of you, your grandfathers were prophets. Your fathers were prophets. It's a spiritual inheritance given to you. It's time for you to walk in that grace. It's time for you to walk in that grace. The seer's anointing, the eyes that can see, see beyond time, see beyond science. Ready to pray for the sick. name of Jesus Christ shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus Christ who is that guy lifting his crutches He couldn't walk. No, no, no. I'm not saying. Sh- Look at me, my friend. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift your crutches and walk. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Walk. Walk. Lift it up and walk. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing? Come, walk. Don't be afraid. Lift it up and walk. He touched me. He touched me. And oh, what joy. Something happened. And now. My friend, look at me. What happened to you? I got an accident. How long ago? One year. One year ago. Uh, And it looks like it's not healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you and I declare right now, right now, healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now. I declare life to your limbs in the name of Jesus Christ. Life to your limbs. Life to your limbs. I declare a supernatural reconnection of the fractured bone. You came here believing. My friend, look at me. Stand up. Walk gently. Go. Turn and come back. 
I'm about to pray for the sick now In the name of Jesus Christ I declare that this miracle remains permanent in your life By the power that raised Christ from the dead And what do you do? I computer vision You are what? A computer wizard. I'm not sure I got him Computer wizard no, don't. Oh, oh, you are not a wizard. You are, you are a computer. You are computer savvy. That's all right. Choose you. In the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle for you right now. I shift you by the Spirit in Jesus' name. Now I want to pray for you. We are still praying for the sick. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Let him go. He's free. I decree and declare every spirit that is back of any infirmity and any disease, I command it to give way now. Give way now. I pray from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet, my God, I send such a strong anointing. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now. Peptic ulcer, be healed now. Migraine headaches, be healed now. I'm hearing a name gastritis. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Help that woman, that's right. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Any organ that is failing or has failed in your body, I prophesy to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let there be a brand new organ in your body now. Not just a healing of the current one, a brand new organ in your body now. Blind eyes open now in the name of Jesus. Someone has received a miracle there. Is that a miracle? Someone from crutch, the crutches are lifted. Is that a miracle? If that's a miracle, that's fine. Otherwise, if he's lifting it by faith, he can stand there and receive. Something has happened there. What well, we promise that we will not take out there. In the name that is above all names. There's someone your right ear. It looks, I don't know if it's blocked or you don't hear completely with it. I command that ear to be open now. Every blood disease in the name that is above all names, we declare the cleansing of your blood now. You hear me, please. If there is anyone here with any troubling genotype, I stand by the God of heaven and I declare, let there be a supernatural change of your genotype. <laughs> Believe it in the name of Jesus Christ. Any lump in or growth in any area of your body, breast lump, abdominal lump, lumps around your body, I cause that growth right now. I cause that growth right now. I cause that growth right now. There's someone I'm seeing is like you have a problem with your fingers. You are not able to move your hands freely. The power of God is touching you right now wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone with a severe pain around your kneecap. You're having a severe pain around your kneecap. The power of God is touching you right now. Bringing you life and bringing you healing. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is telling me that there is someone you have a problem. Not just a problem smelling. But I don't know what it is that happened to your nose. I don't know if it's that there is a growth or there is a swelling. It's very inconveniencing. You are not able to breathe well. Right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let there be a miracle for you now. There's someone... 
please don't feel embarrassed you don't have to come out um you are losing weight drastically people think you are just fasting but this is not fasting at all you are eating what i'm seeing with the revelation god is showing me there's something wrong with your liver this is what i'm saying you are losing weight completely almost looking like someone who maybe has some some kind of terminal disease i don't know where that person is but right now in the name of jesus christ be healed from that infirmity every other sickness every other infirmity mentioned or not in the name of jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now please lift your prayer requests i want you to pass it very quickly and i'll just give you a minute or two for those of you who are visiting the for the first time we usually come with prayer requests just as an expression of our faith in the lord jesus christ and we'll have the request here at the altar so that i pray and speak over it and if you're yet to pen down your request please you have a minute or two to just write this or you feel by the spirit that you should add something remember this is our last miracle service not the last service but the last miracle service for 2021 there's no miracle service for december because that would be during the break please write it very quickly following online you can send in your prayer requests all of the overflows please write very quickly and if your loved ones are connecting you can stand in and write for them please the moment you do that i like you to do well to just pass your request no one reads it pass it to the last person by the aisle and then left or right whichever and then we'll have our ushers come to pick it very quickly Let's do that very quickly because we're about to pray i love this part of the miracle service because it is the most accurate expression of our desires i like you to write believing unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come believe me believe me he answers prayers our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name oh our father hear us from heaven forgive our sin one more time our father who art in heaven Hallowed be thy name. Our Father, hear us from heaven. Forgive our sins. Please write it down very quickly. We are people of prayer. We are people of scripture based prayer. The Bible says this is the confidence that we have in Him. Our confidence is that when we ask anything in accordance to His will, His will is the jurisdiction of His response to the saints. He cannot respond to the saints outside of the scope of His word that is captured in His will. If God must grant answers to our prayers, the content, the requests must be consistent with the word of God. God does not just respond to the saints arbitrarily. He is bounded by the jurisdiction of his word. The word of God defines the coordinates for his response, his dealings with believers. This is the confidence that we have, the Bible says, that when we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And that now that we know that he hears, he heareth us, we have answers, the Bible says, to our prayers. Please quickly, quickly, let's have it when we're done. Please, let's bring it here very quickly. We cry, Abba Father, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. We cry, Abba Father, 
Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. We cry, our Father. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be. We cry, our Father. more times. We cry, our Father. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Just a very quick announcement. All those who all those who came here to surrender their lives to Jesus tomorrow by 5 p.m. 5 p.m. on the dot we have a follow-up system for those who come um, to surrender their lives to Jesus. It will be at our other venue, the Daughters of Abraham opposite Setraco. You can get more details um, from our PR desk immediately after service. But please, all those who all those who surrendered their hearts to Jesus Christ, do well to come. 5 p.m. on the dot, we'll meet with you there, share with you a few things, and then pray for you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Please can we rise while um, we collate the request. Please make sure all the overflows... And our online family connect by faith. Connect by faith. Hebrews 11 and verse 6 says, For without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh unto God must come believing that he exists. He is. And then number two, that he is the rewarder. Of them that diligently seek him Mark eleven twenty four, Jesus was speaking and he said Verily, verily I say unto you What things soever ye desire eleven twenty four, Mark When ye pray He says believe that thou receivest it And thou shall have it What things soever ye desire When ye pray Believe that thou receivest it You cannot have what you have not received The protocol is that when you desire According to his will You ask in prayer Believing Are we together? And then you receive by faith Then it becomes manifest To have it means your hands will now handle it But the first thing is that you must receive and the Bible says, be anxious for nothing, it says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says, make your request known. Don't assume God knows. Make it known. Make your request known. So in obedience to that scripture, we're making our request known. The cure for anxiety, be anxious for nothing, but that in everything, by prayer and supplication even with thanksgiving we are mandated according to scripture to make our requests known unto god hallelujah praise the name of the lord please stretch your hands towards these requests and just begin to pray in one moment that these egyptians i see today i will see them no more forever go ahead stretch your hands and release that word of faith let it come from the depth of your heart. Are you praying? Pray. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are praying now. 
You are mighty in our midst. You are mighty in this place. You're the faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unchangeable God. Unchangeable. Unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. Reliable God. Reliable God. Reliable God. Reliable God. You are praying. Father, we decree and declare. Let there be supernatural answers to these prayers. I lay my hands prophetically by the privilege of priesthood. In the name of Jesus Christ. When Hannah went to the temple to cry out her heart before the Lord. It was prophet Eli. Thinking she was drunk. She said no. Your maid is not drunk. But this is a woman communicating sorrow from her heart. And Eli spoke prophetically and sealed her desire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Laying my hands upon these requests. As a representation. The most accurate representation of your desires. I pray by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let there be supernatural answers. Let there be supernatural answers. Now arise, O Lord. Would you come to your resting place? You and the ark of your might. And then we will rejoice as we're clothed in your righteousness. Celebrate. The Bible says, He that told you have asked for nothing, it says, Ask and you will receive, that your joy may be full. I decree and declare, whatever has robbed your joy as represented here, you will never see it in your life again. You will never see it in your life again. You will never see it in your life again. You will never see it in your life again. I declare unto you by the power of the word of God that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every human agent that must come in partnership with the Spirit of God to make for answers to this prayer, we compel their ministry right now. And whoever says over his dead body for this request to be answered, may their own prayer be answered. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sincerely I pray for you. May God shift systems. And shift structures. For the sake of your request. And whoever said where is your God. May God use the answers to this prayer. To answer them back. In the name of Jesus Christ. I stand upon this request and I declare that everything that has stood over you in the name that is above all names we bring it under your feet we bring it under your feet we bring it under your feet we command speedy answers to this prayer in the name of Jesus speedy answers to this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ please stand we are wrapping up Let me speak finally over your life. And God is able to make 
all grace abound towards you so that ye having sufficiency in all things the bible says that you may abound to every good work that means whatever spiritual and gracing that will be required to make for your efficiency it is within the power of god to supply to the uttermost i decree and declare every grace needed for the next level of your spiritual efficiency every anointing every mantle every supernatural supply of grace whether as wisdom whether as favor whether as counsel whether as might whether as the grace for dominion in the name of Jesus let it come upon you now whatever has left your life that should not have left the Bible says son of man can these bones live again he was not even seeing the bones he was saying would live because they were scattered and fragmented he says only thou knowest then he said prophesy to these bones and the prophet said I prophesied as commanded and there was a sound I stand like Ezekiel I prophesy as commanded everything that has left your life let it come back to perfect order now let it come back to perfect order now the bible says the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon never to return again i pray for you whoever must send for you as a helper of destiny to bring you out of that pit in the name of jesus may god connect you to them <laughs> hallelujah Exodus chapter 2 and verse 15 B And Esther obtained favor In the sight of all them that looked upon her Verse 17 of the same chapter 2 And the king loved Esther The Bible says More than all the virgins And the Bible says He took her He set a royal crown on her head And made her queen instead of Vashti The favor that enthrones In the name of Jesus Let it rest upon your life Exodus 3 and verse 21 And I will give these people favor In the sight of the Egyptians And it shall come to pass That as ye go Ye shall not go empty Whatever makes for emptiness in your hands In the name of Jesus May the favor of God stop that season of drought In the mighty name of Jesus I pray for you even by the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit the grace that makes for visibility it says you cannot light a lamp and put it under a bushel but you put it on top of a lampstand so that it will give light illumination to all who are in the room many of you are gifted many of you have been marvelously helped of God but there is no visibility to announce you in business in ministry those who need what you carry do not even know you are there I pray for you right now from where you are may you rise to an elevated position of visibility Hallelujah. My Bible says when a man's ways pleases the Lord, that he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. I pray for you. Those who sit as gatekeepers of systems and structures who will not give you access because they do not like you. May the father of spirits manipulate their heart to your favor. In the name of Jesus Christ.
because thou has loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows I pray for you the grace that distinguishes a man among your contemporaries may that grace for the sake of his majesty rest upon your life in the name of Jesus have you heard of this proverb that in one day a nation is born it says but as soon as Zion travails she shall put forth a son I declare speed to your accomplishments speed to your accomplishments in the name of Jesus Christ Psalm 112 verse 1 Blessed is the man that feared the Lord That delighted greatly in his commands The Bible says his seed shall be mighty upon earth I pray for your children In the name that is above all names You will never give birth for sorrow You will never give birth for pain In the name of Jesus Christ Every spirit waiting at the corridor of destiny to hijack children and make sure they cause pain to parents. We crush those spirits right now. The Bible says the generation of the upright shall be blessed. I decree and declare, not only your children, but your children's children. Let the heritage of being blessed follow them. Then my Bible says wealth and riches shall be in his house. Listen, I have taught you here that there is the prophetic dimension as far as manifesting the abundance of the kingdom is concerned. The prophetic dimension will never be a license for laziness and lack of diligence. The Bible says a diligent soul shall be made fat. Is that true? And that he that waters will himself be watered. Yet, there are times like I have taught you where you can have a healthy net oh peter there are times where your boat is okay there are times you are even at sea and your fishing skill is there but you will still not catch fish because it is not of him that will it nor of him that run it but of the lord that showeth mercy at that time you need beyond your skill you need the advantage of the prophetic the bible says and by a prophet the lord god brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet was she preserved i decree and declare by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic step into strange dimensions of the abundance of people. When they got to the valley of Tekoa, 2 Chronicles 20 and verse 20, the Spirit of the Lord came upon the prophet and he spoke. This is what he said. He said, believe the Lord your God, so shall you be established. He says, believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. There is something called the prophet's reward. He says, he that receives a prophet as touching the office of that prophet, there are possibilities that follow every every mantle and every genuine mandate from heaven no man sent by God comes empty there are engracings that accompany him and that at the instance of honor you can be a partaker of that grace I stand by the God who has shown me mercy and shown this ministry mercy and I pray for you experience the marvelous hand of God in your life in the name of Jesus Christ last prayer point it says thou shall call Joshua in whom there is the spirit and thou shall anoint him and thou shall take some of thy honor and place on him you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon you by another and there is a grace that makes for honor just because you walk in integrity is not enough for you to carry honor. Honor means that the possibility of being despised has been taken away from your life. 
when God places that grace upon you even kings will entreat your favor in the name of Jesus for everyone connected to this vision everyone who is here following online inside and outside is our heritage in Christ and part of the graces that follows this spiritual tribe may that mantle of honor rest on your life in the name of Jesus Christ By this impartation, every semblance of shame and reproach, let it be torn apart and taken out of your life. In the name of Jesus, we knock on the door of life and we call the person back to life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a gentleman you've been having again. I advise you that even though we pray right now, but please see a doctor. You've been having unusual heartbeat. Like your heart, your heartbeat, your heart rate is not beating normally. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a doctor, my apologies. But this is a serious cardiovascular issue. You need to see a doctor to attend to you immediately or at least maybe at the back or you will lie down and sometimes you literally gasp for breath. It's not COVID. This is something that I'm seeing. You are having a problem with your heart. In the name of Jesus, by the message of God. Anyone having breathing problems, breathing issues, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Even though I'm praying for sick people, but I'm praying for a woman who is always seeing dead people in her dreams. Always, as you, this is not once in a while. As soon as you lie down, you must always see at least one dead face. The spirit of death over you that wants to swallow you up using sickness. I declare be free from it right now. Be free from it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone you have a swelling here. Just this part that I'm touching just near your armpit area. It looks like it's, it's from within and this is something that is, is hard. I command healing for you right now. Now, whether I mention your case or not, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. We're going to do this very quickly right now. Outside the main auditorium, across the balcony, all of the overflows i want you to check yourself as an act of faith it is important it is always important to testify when you see god touch you testimonies preserve your miracles i want you to check yourself right now the moment you find out that the power of god has touched you be very bold i want you to get up and make your way to the front check yourself do what you couldn't do before for those who were under the anointing and then you got up and found out there's been a relief right now make that happen quickly and while that is happening the prayer request please wave your prayer request if you are yet to drop it and the ushers will pick it let's celebrate those who are coming out for miracles especially for those outside those outside please allow them come very quickly let's celebrate them while that is happening please make sure that you have your prayer request hallelujah are you celebrating those who are coming out check yourself do what you couldn't do don't sit back check yourself all the overflows make your way to the front right now in the name of jesus confirm your healing don't allow the devil send you back with any infirmity check yourself very quickly you can go to the medical stand if you need to you check yourself there's there's someone you came here with severe pain at the right side right side of your neck i don't know what that condition is but right now this moment is gone completely and then there is someone in i think the basement now the overflow in the basement you came here with severe abdominal pain but right now the power of god is touching you check it very very quickly and when we have those people let's have a few of them out to come and testify to the glory and the name of the lord and for those who are coming ushers please lead them correctly so that we have them you can distribute them across here with pastor jakes and then um benga and his team there 
very quickly so that we can have a few of the testimonies. The Lord is killing a little baby. I'm seeing the Lord touch a little baby. I don't know whose child that is, but this is a medical condition um, with that little child, that little baby. I don't know what that is now. Um, is it a breathing problem or a blood, a circulation problem? In the name of Jesus Christ, let that baby right now, this moment, let that baby be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that baby be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that baby be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm hearing the name Jephthah. I'm hearing the name Jephthah. This is, who is Jephthah? Where are you coming from? Huh? Come. I, I, I'm not hearing you. Just Let's just take, even if it's just 3-3 three, three, very quickly. Are you coming from the east? Yes, sir. Where? In most states. Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. What do you do, sir? Um, currently, I'm, I'm just freelancing. Nothing really tangible for now. I want to pray for you. Because I'm looking at you and I'm seeing something just sit on your destiny. And it's not only your destiny, even your family members. And even though I've ministered for people, I had the name Jephthah. You understand? Can I pray for you? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Jephthah. You came all the way from the east. I use you as a point of contact to pray for all your family members. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you prophetically. Rise from tonight. Rise to a new dimension. I lose you from every chain and I take away every weight upon your shoulder. Go and prosper. Go and prosper in Jesus' name. God bless you. Can we have a few testimonies? Let's celebrate Jesus for what he's doing in the midst of his people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Praise Apostle, the name of God. Yes. She had an accident. Walk with them, man. Eh? Walk with the protocol. Don't yes. be stubborn, man, my friend. Huh? We don't I do that. Hold on, hold on, darling. This is the house of God. You don't just walk. Walk. Don't let them have to, you know, waylay you. Some of these things people do. Wait. The house of God is a place of discipline and order. Are we together? You don't just walk and come to the pulpit. If you have a testimony, be patient. They will allow you to share it. Huh? Go ahead, my dear. Yes, sir. sir she's so shocked. What happened? Your name and your testimony very quickly. My name is Ekerem Help us with the sound, gentlemen. I had an accident in Zaria since March and I couldn't touch this shoulder. You couldn't touch this shoulder? For how long? Since March? Yes. And right now, touch it. Ah, that is how your hand will reach your blessings. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that healing is permanent in your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Let's celebrate Jesus. Yes, please. Very quickly. Apostle, we have another test. Yes. Uh, I'm Chalna Benjuma. Yes. I have a small boy in my eye, my right eye. Yes. It's like a stone in my eye. But when I check the mirror, I notice that it's something that's filled up here. Yes. But when I came in, it was a bit pain in me. But when you mentioned the case, I can't feel it again. I Completely. Can't Come on now. Are you giving Jesus praise? Just like that. Yes, please. My name is Olubodola Mides TV. Before I can fast three days dry fasting. But since the beginning of this year, if I'm trying to fast, I begin to feel headache and my body begins to hurt. But now as we're praying, I'm even feeling the headache, but as you the dad, daddy was praying, I lay my hands on my head and my stomach. I couldn't fan the headache and the stomach. Completely. Yes. In the name of Jesus, you are free from this demonic thing. Go and serve the Lord acceptably. So in Apostle, Jesus' name. Yes. Similar sir. testimonies they were all having pains. Pains. Praise the Lord. My name is Chine Chenem Nemeka. I have, I came here with chest pain and stomach, stomach issue. Okay. My minister, someone that have chest pain. Right now he's gone. I can't pain. And, and same thing with you, my friend. Pain. Pain at the neck. For how long? This morning. Sir. This morning. In Jesus' name, you're both free, free forever. Let's hear the testimony of the little one. My God. Can you imagine? Okay. I just got confirmation that she will I love children. No. My name is Ferami. I want to testify that my head was spinning me. Now it's gone. Oh dear. Look at this. Celebrate Koinonia children. No. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Praise the 
done. Immediately, Daddy prophesied about the ulcer. I immediately I just said Amen. I felt I kept on having acid reflux for over five minutes. Like my neighbor noticed me. It didn't start. It was like all the gas in me that has been giving me this constant acid reflux. All of them just came out completely. completely. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes. Let's hear Mama's testimony. Speak anything, Mama. English, house, style, whatever. Just speak. Okay. As you are praying, I, I cannot walk. I cannot stand. But after the prayer, I now get strength. Walk, Mama. For 15 years. For 15 years. I have not to walk. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, dear. 15 years. Ladies and gentlemen. God is great. God is great, Mama. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Meduguri. All the way from Meduguri. I have been coming, but I could not see you. It is today that Jesus said, I must see you. Go back and tell Meduguri people that we love them and that Jesus still heals. Let's celebrate. Go ahead and walk, Mama. 15 years. 16. I even leave my job because of this sickness. You know, federal work, every time they report here and there, I now drop my job. I prophesy, may God restore. Listen, I'm speaking to her prophetically. The backlog of the honor, the grace, and everything that should have come to you. God who healed you right now will declare restoration. Please walk back to your seat with joy. Look at this. Give Jesus praise. 15 years. Hallelujah. Yes, please. Let's have from this end. Go ahead very quickly. Apostle said there are several neck pain. She had had pain in her back for the past two years. But as she preached, she, she couldn't stand for long. But now she could stand. The pain is gone. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare for all of you together who have neck problems, we do not take for granted the workings of God in your life. Be healed right now. I declare your testimonies perfected by the power of God. Yes, please. You gave a word of knowledge about a man with a chronic pile. Pile? Pile. He has had it for like three weeks. So when you gave that word, he quickly went to the convenience to check himself, trying to ease himself, but nothing was coming out. He's perfectly whole. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. She had oblique nail surgery, February, which has created difficulty in her. In you her had surgery. Life. When? In May. Where? Umbilical hyena, okay. just close to my navel. Yes. So after the surgery, after some time, I started feeling pains. I cannot sit down for long. I cannot bend down for long. But right and what now, happened? Bend down now. Any pain? Any pain? Koinonia, don't get used to miracles. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, let's have one more. Okay, yes, sir. So you give a prophetic word, the word of knowledge. Yes, sir. Um, praise the Lord. Um, I used to have a protruding at the right side of my back. It's been there for years. My spinal cord is in an S shape. But Your spinal cord? Is in an S shape since birth. But when Pastor decreed, it's no longer there. Completely, it's gone. What couldn't you do? Look at me, my dear. What couldn't you do before? When I came in today, my back, I couldn't even sit properly on the chair. Go and sit on that chair now. Go ahead. Sit near pastor. Let's see. Any pain? Look at this. Please stand up. Hallelujah. S-shape. You see, these are the various demonic things that we have in our world. How is someone's back, um, spine... S shape. I don't even, how does that rest now? You see how wicked the devil is? He doesn't choose whether you are Igbo, Yoruba, Hausa, whether you are young or old. My dear, in the name of Jesus, your healing is permanent. You go back and tell everyone who knew you that Jesus still heals. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes, sir. Hey, my name is Iken. So anything I want to read, as in to pick up a book to read, yes. I'll start having fever, head, headache, as in. And what happened to you now? Just now, the teeth disappeared. Completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, Iken Knight will never return to you again. You are healed, healed forever in Jesus' name. Yes, please. So, Apostle, 
an interesting testimony. I had to ask him again. <laughs> what happened to you? Okay, I, I had a dream. You had a dream? Yes, sir. Went, Straight to the point. Okay, um, it was like pig. Pig was feeding seven children. Then the next thing I had like um, sparkling in this leg. Since then, the leg was feeling, it was even swelling. But when you talk... So, sorry, sir. So he came in here with a swollen leg. Oh, you came in here with, with a swollen, swollen leg. leg. Since you had the dream about the pig. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. But when you talked about people walking, the leg started shaking. And the leg started shaking, and that's it. Run. Run. Any pain, turn and return back. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, oh. you're not a man. Oh. You gave word of knowledge of peptic ulcer. She has had it for five years. The pain is gone now, healed by the power of God. Completely in the name of Jesus. It never returns to you, my dear. God bless you in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate that miracle. Yes, please. Five years degenerative disc disease of the neck. Now she's she here with her collar healed. She lifts it up. And then. How long? Five years. Let us speak. How long, my dear? I've had spinal pain for five years and I was recently diagnosed of degenerative disease of the cervical spine. I couldn't move my neck when I came here. Move it now. Let the devil see you. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That's your collar. In the name of Jesus, this is permanent. Never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. There's an online testimony in there. Good in the coin in there. Apostle just mentioned my case. I've been lactating without ever being pregnant and having a baby. It's been causing me serious pain as I have no baby to take the meat and my breast have been in God. God has healed me now. It's over. Can you imagine? When, when you send the text, send your region or the place, the state, so that we we'll know. In the name of Jesus, that healing is permanent. Let's have maybe one or two more so that we can attend to the prayer request. Praise God. Yes, sir. Also, you give a prophetic word, a yes, word sir. of knowledge concerning this gentleman. Um, I was uh, at the back when daddy was saying that um, there is somebody that someone uh, lay his hand on him of a demonic spirit. So I am the one like everybody was rejecting me, but as of now, I am okay. Every, even as I was sitting, people still sit down. But where before, if I sit down, everybody would like be going away from me. But really? now I'm, I'm, I'm good. In Jesus' name, you are set free, eh? Amen. Let the favor of the Lord rest upon you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, sir, he came in here, always has internal heat. Praise the Lord. I am Sunday by name. I want to bless the name of the Lord. Why daddy was making declaration, I came tonight with a, a severe pain at my back and also with internal heat all the time. But today, now I am healed and Completely. I give glory to you. It will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Okay. Please come. Praise the Lord. Um, when daddy was speaking um, prophetically, I was having this serious neck pain and I couldn't stretch my neck very Your well. neck. And right now, now, right now I'm go ahead, excited. check yourself. Yes. No, pain. no pain. It will never return to you again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. This is an online testimony from Kenya. I'm currently on admission in a hospital in Kenya while watching this. When the service commenced, I got a bad attack from my leg shaking. Yes. To coughing, I was being monitored as the word from Apostle King about high BP. My BP suddenly stabilized. I'm not even ashamed to scream right in the hospital. Supernaturally. Can you imagine? In the hospital and her BP just went down. Swollen leg healed. Swollen leg. How long? A week. And it's gone now. Yes, in the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Abdominal pain, you gave the word of knowledge of someone at the basement. Yes. Healed now. Completely healed. Yes. Completely. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. By Lock, the power of the Holy Spirit. Lock here, open. Which of them? This one, the right one. Your right one. How long? A 
I woke up with the blocked ear. Today, yes. in the name of Jesus, we declare that opening remains permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, please. Stroke healed from 2018. He came here and he asked his mother to connect in the village. You have now, the photo there. Look at this. From where, my friend? From Imo State. Imo State. Yeah, I just called her when you were praying. And then after the prayer, I just called her back and she said she's feeling fine. She's healed. Completely. In the name of Jesus, we agree for Mama, the Lord will preserve her. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Okay, let's have just one more from both of you so that we can. Apostle, we need to hear this. Yes, please. So, Mama is here with her son. And you can see she's. she's yes. Fine. So, please, Mama. What happened? Okay. Let her speak. She has been sick for a long period of time. Where are you coming from? We're, I'm coming from Joss, but we are from Nasara State. Okay. Yes. So the thing started in her dreams. Then when I was still going, she... Can she speak? Yes. Tell her to speak, whether it's house or whatever. You can interpret her subjects. So, Apostle, she said she had a dream, and in her dream, they actually give her meat to eat, and they put things in her throat. So she kept seeing dead people see, in her you dream. You see this kind of wicked, demonic thing, a woman of this age? I heard her saying they take her somewhere, yes, they sir. give her human meat or meat. something. Yes, sir, and her legs were swollen. And what and happened she now? She walked in here with swollen legs. Sir. She walked she in here with swollen legs. Let her walk. Then, sir, she also had a growth in her neck. Let her speak. Yes, sir. So she's saying her tongue was actually twisted. So she couldn't speak properly. Can you imagine? You, you, see, you see this very demonic thing? That's all right, Mama. Can you ten years. Over ten years, this woman has been going through this oppression. Some of these, some of these traditional. Hold on, let me just pass a comment over some of these traditional things. In as much as we know that the leaves are for the healing of the nations, it depends on what the leaves was dedicated to, because some of these leaves that they carry people to, huh, is is just a connection with the spirits of the dead. Those who do some of this priesthood in the village, they are sincere people, but they do not even know the basis of that covenant. So we need to be careful. In as much as uh, the people say once things are bad, they just say go down to the village, you must be careful. Make sure that they do not go and bow to demons and dedicate things to spirits. And if you have been part of that, be released right now. <laughs> Mama? What? Huh? Mama Badamwa, yes, you are coming to work as well. Walk. 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 Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This demonic situation, demonic situation, it will never return to you again in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus and for her dear son, we pray that God will show you mercy. For you and mama, in the name of Jesus, you are healed, you are strengthened by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes, please, go ahead. Destiny by name, he was playing football last week and they fell on his hand, got dislocated. So he came to Which of the hands, Destiny? This one. Check it now. Any pain? No pain. Look what the boy is doing. In the name of Jesus. 
it will never return to you again and you fulfill destiny in Jesus name let's celebrate him yes please several back pains back pains pain, all now, of them healed by the power of now God. for all of these conditions my apologies you can always register your testimony for next week in the name of Jesus stretch your hands towards them in one minute and declare perfection for their healings in the name of Jesus and for all those who have not been able to testify from around the world we receive your testimonies you can send them to our media people and we'll be sure to put it online or testify here if you give us the permission to in the name of Jesus Christ may this grace for healing return home with you in Jesus name I pray please be upstanding everybody let's stand on our feet stretch your hands towards this prayer request and I want you to declare over them and um, when we are done praying, I'm going to invite Bishop to just come and make one prophetic declaration over you. And then I'll invite my dear friend, Apostle Paul Ame, to just make a declaration. And then we'll do the altar call and wrap up. But stretch your hands here. And I want you to begin to pray. So many thousands, tens of thousands of requests here and across the globe. Is someone stretching your hands? Father, in the name of Jesus let there be miracles right now let there be miracles right now someone is praying let there be miracles right now let there be miracles right now let there be miracles right now supernatural miracles by the spirit of the living god Make sure you are praying. I lay my hands upon this prophetically. Every situation that must give way, it gives way right now. There is a balm in Gilead. We declare healing by the Spirit of the Living God. Father, visit families. For all those who are following online, all those who are viewing from across the globe. And for all those who are here, in the name of Jesus. I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, I believe, I believe. In the name of Jesus, I bow my knees by the privilege of God's grace and I decree and declare that every issue of concern, please listen carefully and shout a loud Amen. Every issue of concern here represented, it comes to a permanent end now. 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 And every long standing issue by the power that raised Christ from the dead between now and the end of 2022, in the name of Jesus, hold your testimony in your hand. Hold your testimony in your hand. Hold your testimony in your hand. I lay my hands upon this request. And I ask that the anointing of the Spirit will saturate this prayer request. And let there be a harvest of answers. Let there be a harvest of testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Every issue here that is an emergency issue. We are arrested by the power of the Holy Spirit. Every issue here that is caused directly by demon spirits, by the mercy of God, let there be deliverance now. Every issue here that needs the approval of systems and structures, we declare may the mercy of God show up now. And every issue here that needs the ministry of destiny help us, we declare may God raise men to show up. Therefore I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit 
that these Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. May I please invite His Lordship Bishop, please come, and Apostle Amen, please come. I'm going to give Bishop the mic. He's just going to speak words over your life. I believe in taking advantage of the anointing here, and I want you to receive. As he speaks over your life, receive it, and then I will wrap up by declaring over your life. Yes, sir. Just whatever the Lord just puts, just it, to speak blessings over his people in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. In Jesus' name. Amen. I speak word of faith. Mm. Concerning your life yes, Lord. and the work of your life, your hands, I pray, grace, that what you received here, mm. what you received here, no eyes have seen, Amen. no ears have heard, Amen. no is it perceived in the heart of men. What God will continue to do in the name of Jesus. Amen. As you turn around and start going back home, God, 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 God. God will turn things around. Amen. In the name of Jesus! By the time you come back here for the next service, you will come rejoicing. I say you will come rejoicing! The Lord bless you. Amen. I decree in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Psalm 35, 37 verse 25, the message translation. I was old, young but now I'm old. I have not seen an abandoned deliverer. Nor his children room in the street begging for bread. I decree by this mantle on this altar. And these situations that look abandoned. Now receive grace of faith. I am a Bagosa. Vipurake. Throne to die. Nothing good dies in your hand again. I decree. That your hand. Let's honor them. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Still praying and speaking over your life. Prophetic words are very powerful. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every close heaven over your life. I prophesy to you right now 
this by the decree of the watchers let the heavens over you be open now I speak over every day beginning from today till December 31st let no day end without you testifying let no day end without you testifying in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for your walk with God this is for me a priority in the life of every believer I don't care what else works in your life if your spiritual life your prayer life your walk with God is down then your life is under a situation that calls for emergency therefore I speak over your spiritual life in the name of Jesus fresh fire upon your altar 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 the grace for prayer and supplication receive it in the name of Jesus the grace for a constructive study of the word receive it in the name of Jesus I have seen the favor of God in ways that I cannot begin to describe I know what the favor of God is and I know what it can do by the privilege of the help of God upon my life and upon this ministry receive favor now shout a loud amen receive favor now I speak over systems and structures I compel them to walk in accordance to the will of God over your life anyone here who has been who has been forgotten between today and next Sunday in the name of Jesus let the book of remembrance be open let the book of remembrance be open let the book of remembrance be open as responsible citizens we pray for Nigeria anyone plotting evil anyone plotting war every conspiracy of dark powers right now we command the elements of creation to fight everything that is antichrist we declare that now the Lord of peace by himself he will ensure that there is peace always and by all means in the name of Jesus Christ concerning the preparation for the election I don't belong to any party have you see me around with politicians but I have I'm a man of God there's everybody in every party in this ministry and fatherhood demands that you open your heart for everybody I don't have any prejudices no biases whatsoever but one thing I can tell you is anybody who does not mean well in the name of Jesus Christ you will not succeed anybody across whether from counselors down to whatever burying animals killing children and draining their blood in the name of Jesus we invoke the blood of the eternal covenant and we nullify those demonic sacrifices but as for you I prophesy upon you you will not die you will not be victims of kidnap you will not be victims of accidents every ministry here represented return back with fresh fire return back with fresh grace in the name of Jesus Christ and for all our international guests I prophesy upon you you return back with answers to your prayers and in the name of Jesus God will do mighty things with you hear me come December when men say there is a casting down when men are complaining in the name of Jesus may December be your greatest month in 2022 <laughs> hallelujah I know I've stretched you but please listen hear me God helps men even financially stretch your hands towards me in the name of Jesus Christ by the help of God the God of Jeshurun the one who is able to help men I pray over your finances between now and the end of this year may my God who is also your God may he surprise you in a way in the name of
of Jesus Christ. Very strange, mysterious financial doors may they open up for you. I say it again. Very strange, mysterious financial doors may they open up for you. Some of you will meet strangers and the strangers will say, God has sent me to help you. I declare over your life you will not beg. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. All the sicknesses that fly around this nation, whether airborne, waterborne, realm of the spirit bone, I cancel it from getting to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for all your loved ones who are not here, but connected to you by faith, please hear me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, as God is touching you here, may he touch them there. My final prayer for you, before I make an altar call, please let your hearts be open. All round rest. Whatever that is to you, all round rest. All round rest. All round rest. Whether it means rest maritally, whether it means rest financially, whether it means rest in terms of fruitfulness, whether it means rest in whatever must happen in your life to be called rest, I call upon my God to give you that rest. All round rest. And anybody who has vowed to trouble you in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may God arise and scatter them. In the name of Jesus. Our time is up, but God is asking me to pray for people. I'm hearing in my spirit that there are many people who are having difficulty meeting their financial obligations in terms of house rent or maybe school fees of children or medical bills. This is what I'm hearing in the name of Jesus. This one is by prophecy. I don't care whether you do business or not. I'm praying for you one week. If I be called of God between now and the next one week, may my God surprise you. One week from now, may my God surprise you. I say it again, one week from now, may my God surprise you. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The God of Jacob defend you. May he send you help from Zion. I prophesy to you that in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, no more tears. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Thank you for watching. Like our videos, share and subscribe. Thank you.